Aviation uh, stakeholders at uh, the Uganda Civil Aviation Authority stakeholders breakfast meeting have called upon the government to create a very conducive environment, atmosphere to investment for investment in the aviation industry through reduction of taxes, investment in infrastructure and the sector, among others, so as to develop the industry, aviation industry here in Uganda. in order to have a safety culture. One of the important, and security culture, one of the important things there is, there is that management must be involved. Everybody in the organization, from the top manager, from Frederick Mwesje, from the chairman, Justice Kavuma, and to the list, to the sweeper, they must be involved in the security and safety culture. We all must believe that it is important to have this security culture and it must be an integral part of uh, the organization. It must be within our DNA that we have security and culture. And some of us who happen to have uh, been brought up in the early days of aviation where it was cherished, uh, we have that kind of... Uh, uh, Fortunately, we have that kind of, uh, uh, of blood. Let's go quickly to the performance. <clears throat> this shows you the performance of Uganda, 2008 versus 2024. By the way, for you, uh, good information, Uganda was the first country in Africa to, be, to undertake an audit, a WUSAP audit in, security, in safe, safety. Am I wrong, Mr. Dr. Gandonda? Uganda was the first, first country out of the 54 countries in Africa to undertake an audit. And you can see there, look at the blue line, that is uh, 2014, there was an increase in almost all areas because we had some kind of experience. And I will tell you that for about six months, uh, Muneza and uh, I don't know who else was there. Is the same river here? To work every day ex except Sunday to prepare for this audit in 2008. Uh, now, 2014, you remember, that's the time when we had the audit and uh, there was a threat of having an SSC. I advised Dr. 